April 15th. Miss Kinian says I'm learning fast. She read some of the progress reports and she looked at me kind of funny. She says I'm a fine person and I'll show them all. I asked her why. She said, never mind, but I shouldn't feel bad if I find out that everybody isn't nice like I think. She said, for a person who God gave so little to, you done more than a lot of people with brains they never even used. I said, all my friends are smart people, but they're good. They like me, and they never did anything that wasn't nice. Then she got something in her eye, and she had to run out to the ladies' room. April 16th. Today, I learned the comma, this is a comma, a period, with a tail. Miss Kinian says it's important because... It makes writing better, she said. Somebody could lose a lot of money if a comma isn't in the right place. I don't have any money, and I don't see how a comma keeps you from losing it. But, she says, everybody uses commas, so I'll use them too. I used the comma wrong. It's punctuation. Miss Kinian told me to look up words in the dictionary to learn to spell them. I said, what's the difference if you can read it anyway? She said, it's part of your education. So now on, I'll look up all the words I'm not sure how to spell. It takes a long time to write that way, but I think I'm remembering. I only have to look up once, and after that, I get it right. Anyway, that's how come I got the word punctuation right. It's that way in the dictionary. Miss Kinian says a period is punctuation too, and there are lots of other marks to learn. I told her I thought all the periods had to have tails, but she said no. You got to mix them up. She showed me how to mix them up, and now I can mix up all kinds of punctuation in my writing. There are lots of rules to learn, but I'm getting them in my head. One thing I like about Dear Miss Kinian, that's the way it goes in a business letter if I ever go into business, is she always gives me a reason when I ask. She's a genius. I wish I could be smart like her. Punctuation is fun. August 18th. What a dope I am. I didn't even understand what she was talking about. I read the grammar book last night, and it explains the whole thing. Then I saw it was the same way as Miss Kinian was trying to tell me, but I didn't get it. I got up in the middle of the night, and the whole thing straightened out in my mind. Miss Kinian said that the TV working in my sleep helped out. She said I reached a plateau. That's like the flat top of a hill. After I figured out how punctuation worked, I read over all my own progress reports from the beginning. Boy, did I have crazy spelling and punctuation. I told Miss Kinian I ought to go over the pages and fix all the mistakes, but she said, No, Charlie, Dr. Niemer wants them just as they are. That's why he let you keep them after they were photostated to see your own progress. You're coming along fast, Charlie. That made me feel good. After the lesson, I went down and played with Algernon. We don't race anymore. April 20. I feel sick inside. Not sick like for a doctor, but inside my chest it feels empty like getting punched and a heartburn at the same time. I wasn't going to write about it, but I guess I got to because it's important. Today was the first time I ever stayed home from work. Last night, Joe Carp and Frank Riley invited me to a party. There were lots of girls and some men from the factory. I remembered how sick I got last time I drank too much, so I told Joe I didn't want anything to drink. He gave me a plain Coke instead. It tasted funny, but I thought it was just a bad taste in my mouth. We had a lot of fun for a while. Joe said I could should dance with Ellen and she would teach me the steps. I fell a few times and I couldn't understand why because no one else was dancing besides Ellen and me. And all the time I was tripping because somebody's foot was always sticking out. Then when I got up, I saw the look on Joe's face, and it gave me a funny feeling in my stomach. He's a scream, one of the girls said. Everybody was laughing. Frank said, I ain't laughed so much since we sent him off for the newspaper that night at Muggsy's and ditched him. Look at him. His face is red. He's blushing. Charlie is blushing. 
Hey, Ellen, what'd you do to Charlie? I never saw him act like that before. I didn't know what to do or where to turn. Everyone was looking at me and laughing, and I felt naked. I wanted to hide myself. I ran out into the street, and I threw up. Then I walked home. It's a funny thing. I never knew that Joe and Frank and the others liked to have me around all the time to make fun of me. Now I know what it means when they say to pull a Charlie Gordon. I'm ashamed. Progress Report 11. April 21st. Still didn't go into the factory. I told Mrs. Flynn, my landlady, to call and tell Mr. Don Donegan I was sick. Mrs. Flynn looks at me very funny lately, like she's scared of me. I think it's a good thing about finding out about how everybody laughs at me. I thought about it a lot. It's because I'm so dumb and I don't even know when I'm doing something dumb. People think it's funny when a dumb person can't do the things the same way they can. Anyway, now I know I'm getting smarter every day. I know punctuation and I can spell good. I like to look up all the hard words in the dictionary and I remember them. I'm reading a lot now and Miss Kinnian says I read very fast. Sometimes I even understand what I'm reading about and it stays in my mind. There are times when I can close my eyes and think of a page and it all comes back like a picture. Besides history, geography, and arithmetic, Miss Kinnian said I should start to learn a few foreign languages. Dr. Strauss gave me some more tapes to play while I sleep. I still don't understand how that conscious and unconscious mind works, but Dr. Strauss says not to worry yet. He asked me to promise that when I start learning college subjects next week, I wouldn't read any books on psychology. That is, until he gives me permission. I felt a lot better today, but I guess I'm still a little angry that all the time people were laughing and making fun of me because I wasn't so smart. When I become intelligent, like Dr. Strauss says, with three times my IQ of 68, then maybe I'll be like everyone else and people will like me and be friendly. I'm not sure what an IQ is. Dr. Niemer said it was something that measured how intelligent you were, like a scale in the drugstore weighs pounds. But Dr. Strauss had a big argument with him and said an IQ didn't weigh intelligence at all. He said an IQ showed how much intelligence you could get, like the numbers on the outside of a measuring cup. You still had to fill the cup up with stuff. Then, when I asked Bert, who gives me my intelligent tests and works with Algernon, he said that both of them were wrong, only I had to promise not to tell them he said so. Bert says that the IQ measures a lot of different things, including some of the things you learned already, and it really isn't any good at all. So I still don't know what IQ is, except that mine is going to be over 200 soon. I didn't want to say anything, but I don't see how, if they don't know what it is or where it is, I don't see how they know how much of it you've got. Dr. Niemer says I have to take a Rorschach test tomorrow. I wonder what that is.